Hello and welcome, this is Bulldog Games and today we're streaming live and we're going to make a drug simulation game on Unreal Engine. Uh, we're going to do this live, probably about an hour stream, um, but today is just specifically the basics to get the, the project um, where it needs to be to start in, in, implementing systems. So I'm just creating a game folder, I'm going to grab the third person character and pop it in there and same with the third person game mode now this isn't going to be an online game we haven't i don't think i've got weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to get that done oh yeah that's fine um this is going to be a single player game um there are going to be a few um hiccups along the way but yeah we will we shall see how we get on um i'm just organizing my my folder so we can have a few, I mean, understand where everything is. I haven't streamed for a while, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. But um, I am happy to uh, stream every week and get these built. So in the background, you're probably going to hear my dog. Yeah, he's uh, making a hell of a lot of noise at the moment. But yeah, we'll see how this goes and we'll get this cracking so we've got a blueprint folder i like to set colors um the reason for that is obviously blueprint i like to be blue hence blueprint um and then we're going to have obviously widgets and things like that the first thing we're going to need is a character so i thought we can work on that um i'm going to try and i'm going to try and get this done um as cheaply as possible i'm happy to um i'm happy to put a bit of money into it, it's, 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 it's not an issue, but I think we should go with this adventure character here. Um, so we'll get that all set up. So we're gonna have to keep this man here. Fuck it. Alright, game folder, blueprints, first person cat third person character. It takes so long to set up once you've opened up a a, a um thingy, so <coughs> we need to get the man so I want the man fully, thank you. Um, he's probably going to need, uh, he won't be able to use um, the animation for, the only animation one he's going to be able to use is the, I think this is Unreal Engine 4, I think. I think, so I don't think he's going to be able to use Manny or anything like that, I don't think. Um, gonna use, yeah, yeah, if he if he can't use man, uh, money, he's not going to be able to use Quinn. Do we actually have any assets for him? Oh, here we do. We're third person idle, first person jump, one walk. Uh, maybe we can get that set up. So let's create in the game folder um, a blueprint for player. Um, again. I like the player to be maybe I don't know yellow. Just to see the grab, you know what you know what's um, what folder I'm in. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, we need to go for an animation blend space 1D, and we're going to use the UE4 mannequin skeleton, and we're going to call this walk slash walk underscore one underscore blend. Open it up, and pretty much for this horizontal, we're just literally going to put speed because that's all it is. We ain't doing a directional thing yet, we will do that as we go. And around about 300, I would say. Uh, no, let's probably go to 450, um, specifically just for the fact that so. Obviously, the first one's going to be idle, so just snap that to that. There we go. And then around probably here, I would say walk. So we'll be halfway between this box, I would say walk, and then at the end, I would say one. So if you hold control down, you can actually get him to start walking. There we go. He's sort of, nah, he's sort of going into the one. Okay. So maybe that's a little bit fast, but then that no, seems all right. It's all. Right, so we're going to pause that here 
and we are going to save it. So in this folder we need to add a new folder called animations. I'm going to drag him into there. We're going to open up this and we're going to create an animation blueprint and we're going to use the Unreal Engine 5 blueprint and we're going to call this player animation So on the app, on the app pose, we need to create a new state and a new state machine. We're going to call it a local, a local, and from here we're going to literally put the default slot, the default slot, so you can use montages. Like I said, that it's not, it's not very hard. Okay, now in the local, we need to call from here and we need to create a new state, and this one's going to be called idle. We need to pull off this, create a new state again, and this one's going to be called walk slash one. And we need to pop that back into there so they sort of go. We will do the jumping, but we don't need to do it at the moment. Um, the idle, we're literally going to pop in the idle. So this is nice and slow. Done. Thank you very much. Go back to local. The walk one is going to be the blend space we just created. And it's going to ask for a variable for speed. So we're going to right click and create that variable. Let's save. Go back to local. Nope, we need to go event work. So we need to get event, blueprint, uh, initialized animation. And then from here, we need to get cast to our third person character. And it's going to be try and get player pool owner. We're gonna dupe, we're gonna promote this and get the third person character. I always put them in a ref, so I don't know where it is. Then from here we're gonna get the, um, the player, player movement, no, site movement. Character movement, and we're gonna promote that to a variable as well. Okay, and then obviously, bang that in the ref folder. Now what we need to do of this animation, of this uh, update animation, is we need to pull in the third person character. Oh, not set, we need to get, not that one, we need to get this one. And if you right click this, you convert it to a valid get, so you get it open like this. Thank you very much. And we're gonna put a sequence here. Sequence. Now, off here we need to get the character movement and then we need to get the velocity of that okay so we need to get the velocity and then promote to a variable so we set the velocity okay easy peasy from now on easy easy work nothing to it and then from here we're going to get if we type in y uh, X and Y, I think. Is it length? I think it's length. I think it's length. It's been a while since I've done this. There you go. Vector length X and Y. And this is going to go into our speed. So we're going to set our speed. Okay, that's, that's literally so now we know is how far we're going. And then the next one, uh, I can't really remember. Let me quickly go into the, the character many animations and grab this one and we'll literally copy this so we'll copy this and then change it so control C thank you Manny but you can fuck off now and we'll paste you in there oh. right so this ain't gonna be ground speed this is gonna be the actual thing speed and this is gonna be the movement component this is gonna be character movement because obviously we named it different and what we're gonna do is should move here we're going to right click and create a variable for that I know as easy as that we're gonna save that we ain't gonna worry about the jumping at the moment but we're gonna save that and that should work like that we'll go back to the local on this one we double click it opens it we literally want to be able to say it should be able to move 
and then go back to the local and then on the way back we want to go should move and then put a not boolean in front of it so if it's coming back then we should not be able to move and it's easy as that and that is our animation blueprint done in around about six minutes well i think it's actually been five minutes so now we compile this click back on our mesh go to our any blueprint and go to our animation which is player animation blueprint there you go so if we play this which i don't think it's yep as we walk it's going to walk okay so now he's going to do what he wants he ain't going to do the jump yet but 